children caught up in the Syrian conflict. According to activists, these toddlers were injured in the latest bombing campaign by government forces in the central city of Homs. They say the shelling has been relentless, prompting many mosques to play prayers on loudspeakers for hours. State media reports the military has made gains but is facing resistance. Syrian TV says rebel fighters are firing rockets into the old city. In old Homs city, the brave government forces are defeating the terrorists. The terrorists have tried to hit Zahra and Sabil with mortars. Fighters say they are holding their ground and wouldn't target their own strongholds. Many have left nearby neighborhoods and residents are facing a shortage of supplies. Activists have appealed to aid agencies to help dozens of civilians to get out of the area. A UN deal that allowed some civilians to leave the besieged city has collapsed. Special Envoy Lakhtar Brahimi says the city is again becoming what he calls a theater of death and destruction. Activists are warning that rebel strongholds across the country are under attack. In Aleppo, Syrian jets have hit villages with rockets, while helicopters have dropped barrel bombs. This man lost everyone in his family. He cries to God. He says, my whole family are in the flat. The whole family were up there in the flat. People are also moving out from the town of Haritan because most buildings and shops have been destroyed. Haritan is stricken. The people have left. Nothing is left in this area. Ten children died in one moment. You could only feel the disaster if you were here. Despite UN resolutions, there is little or no aid getting through to civilians. And every passing day only adds to the misery of those caught up in the conflict. Sama bin Javed, Al Jazeera.